Come on, guys. Let me walk. Let me walk. I gotta walk. You gotta let me walk. <laughs> I can't give you food if I can't walk. Oh, you guys have a lot of food. You guys are weird. Your eating habits are funky. Yes, they're funky. Super, super funky. I hear you guys. I'm coming. Watch out, Chuck Norris. Watch out, Chuck Norris. There you go, ladies and gent. Ladies and gent. Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> Sorry, big fella, but there's no eggs yet. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. It's afternoon. It's about 1230. Just giving the dogs their lunch. <laughs> Here comes the goat. <laughs> They're like, this lady's got food. Run. Anyway. Give the dogs their lunch, <coughs> chickens, a little bit more feed because they're not able to free range a lot of the stuff that they were, like insects and grass. Everything is slowly dying. So let's go do that. And then. We've got like, it's supposed to be super weird warm tomorrow, like 66. It's December. Fifteenth. I had to count there for a minute. Um, December 15th, it's gonna be 66 degrees. We might have 60 mile an hour wind and a whole lot of rain. But the weather, does not make up its mind. <coughs> Excuse me. So, who knows what's gonna happen. We had a tornado in Illinois and across like five different other states in December. Like, that's crazy. Oh, here's my knife. I was looking for it. What are you doing out? Shame on you. Are you Thelma or Louise? Mm-hmm. You are not where you're supposed to be, honey. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, big mama. Come on, big mama. Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. Man, you guys didn't even eat all of it from this morning. What are you guys waiting for? A bus? Oh, I see you there, Coda. Are you patiently waiting? I'm pulling my own hair. So if anybody's wondering why my name changed, it's because I can no longer use the name that I was using because somebody else has it. And I'm not here to cause any trouble, so I just changed it politely. There you go, guys. What do you want, Sammy? Why don't you go eat the pumpkin I gave you? Huh? Why don't you go eat the pumpkin? The chickens ate their piece. See how many eggs I'm not getting today. Huh, one. <laughs> nah, there's a little bit of a nest over there, but no egg. <laughs> See if there's any in the nesting box. Probably not. Ugh. Oh. Two eggs. 
one, which we will leave up here so I can get the poo off my hand. And here's the second one. No, Judy. You can't have the egg, Judy. Where's Red? Oh, there she is. Usually it's you and Red begging. No, you're not eating eggs. I need them. Yes, yes. So my husband and I moved again because my goats decided to jump on top of it when it was, when I put it here, remember? Yeah, well, can't do that anymore. So we had to put it. Thanks, Ragnar. So we put it inside with the other one. And then here's some of my chickens that are still in here. My silkies, my two Polish are inside. You got a big mouth, buddy. So we pulled this back panel off. Only took a couple minutes. Carried it in there. Carried it in there and then closed it back up. So it took maybe 20 minutes to complete it. I was, I was not about to take that thing apart. Mm -mm -mm. Hi, you guys. Hi, Chuck Norris. Hi, Chucky. What's up, Chucky? I see you over there. Are you guys playing over there? <laughs> Aw, oh, you guys are so sweet. You're such a sweet girl. Yes, you are. Such a sweet girl. Yeah. Oh, Luna, you're so sweet. Who's a sweet girl? Yes, she is. What was your brother? What was your brother hollering at earlier? Hi, guys. You guys tearing up the hay again? Luna, do you like being in the pictures, in the videos? Huh? Do you? Coda's like, man, I'm eating. Oh, red. Girl, you are molting like crazy. Ooh. Somebody got yelled at. <clears throat>
our grass is, I cut this back in October. Then I had to cut it again in November. But the back pasture I left because the goats been grazing. I let them graze as long as they possibly could until they started to try to beat me up when I brought them food. And then I realized, okay, back pasture's done. They need food now. All right, I'll show you the back. if you guys remember but back when I did a video when we first moved here this is a, a down tree um, it's in the water hanging over the water so we still got to take care of this too and get this out of here this is compost for me um, I'm gonna get a bunch of pallets try to build this up make it look a lot better than something's been in it probably going in and out of the creek, but I know something's been in it, because that's not, that's not the way it was. cheated though. I used one of them little fire starter blocks because I suck at starting fires. If it were death or starting a fire, I would die for sure. Faux show. Sure.
Let's go see where these little ones are. Every time I turn that on, they fly into the garage and hide. Where you girls at? Oh, there you are. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I'm so sorry. I scared you again. It's not scary, though. It's just a quad. It's not scary. It won't get you. Hey, Norma. So, <clears throat> in all of my lovely research, way before I moved here, I've been wanting a garden. Oh my God, since I can remember. We always rented places though, so. I don't know, I guess my kids I just, my kids I just put first all the time and whatever I wanted to do, I just kinda didn't do anything. I just wanted them to be happy. Did everything for them and you know, the pools and swing sets and I don't know. I guess I just thought maybe it wasn't feasible for me to do where I was because I never felt, I never felt like I belong there. Like something else was waiting for me. Okay, I see one dog. Hey, where'd your sister go? Where'd Sissy go? Oh, I see Sissy. Where'd you go? Are you hiding? So anyway, um, last year I did a garden. I'll probably throw a couple pictures in here, but let's just say it was a beautiful disaster. <laughs> That's what it was, an oxymoron. A beautiful disaster. So, my potatoes were here. I planted them way too close together. Cucumbers planted way too close to the tomatoes. Pepper plant way too close to the tomatoes. So, everything was too close together. And then, on this side, like right here, I planted squash. I will never do that again. Um, yes, I was able to let it crawl up the trellis. However, we're talking about, excuse me, a squash plant. Those plant, those squash were so heavy that as they were growing, there was indents in it. From the cattle panel. Oh, sorry guys. One of those days. Um, so next year, I don't plan on doing that. Um, yes, my chickens do like squash. Yes, my goats love it. Even my pasture dogs like it. However, too, uh, I was too scared to try it. I didn't want to make myself sick and not cook it the right way or bake it the right way or whatnot. So, I'm doing a whole lot more research about cooking stuff like that, like squash and beets and stuff like that. So, that way next year I actually can grow it and taste it myself. Um, the more I can grow in here and not have to buy it at the store, that's what I want to do. Um, obviously, I can grow tomatoes like crazy, because I did. I can grow cucumbers like crazy, peppers, uh, meaning jalapeno and bell peppers. Um, I did really good. I did happen to grow a plant of squash. I grew a plant of squash. Hands down did, but I planted like nine or ten seeds and I only got one to grow like really um you guys are not supposed to be digging hey no digging hey no no digging um <coughs> so again that was the same thing I planted spinach I probably planted like seven or eight spinach seeds only got one plant which I mean was fine but um, it went to seed. It was really bitter. Um, I just threw it in my salad a couple times, but it was good. I mean, for the most part. And then, uh, do my tomato. I'm going to put two plants on this end, two plants on the other end. And then I'm going to do, now those are beefsteak and slicer I'm going to put there. 
all my cherry tomatoes and my tomatillos I'm gonna plant in this part the higher part and then the lower part I don't know yet I don't know yet I don't know what I'm gonna do in the lower part but I figure that should be plenty enough room of spacing for tomatoes that I'm gonna do I should be okay now over here in this bed I'll probably do the cucumbers like right here because I only need I only need like four plants because last year I planted eight and oh my god I was giving them away to my um my mail lady I mean she was absolutely thrilled but I mean I don't want to give away everything I do so I'm only gonna plant four and I'm gonna use the trellis for those on this side um, and then I did plant bush beans which they were really good um, I'm not sure where I want to plant those I mean maybe I can just use this have this cattle panel maybe I can just do them here but for the most part right now that's what I want to do is the cucumbers to climb because they really need to climb the um, tomatoes I just need to do a better job at pruning I did no problem at the bottoms but the tops is what was killing me I mean they were so tangled up in each other it was crazy absolutely crazy but um yeah so that's what I plan on doing with this so far I have to draw it out um, and label it and stuff and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to test myself so this this spring I am going to plant something that I have never eaten before in my life never eaten um, and I'm gonna hopefully let it grow and I'm gonna let you guys watch as it grows and hopefully it'll it'll do very well and then I get to taste it I mean I'm not like a food connoisseur by no means um, I have a very small food pantry um, because I don't I haven't really eaten a lot of things there are lots of things I've tried in my life I've always tried something new I have no problem doing that but I just want to try something something new that I've never eaten before um, I buy the typical tomatoes lettuce cucumbers potatoes um, let's see what else um, bell peppers jalapeno peppers I mean that's typically what I buy in the store but I want to test myself I want to grow my own cilantro because I would love to make my own salsa um, the salsa in the jars are really gross there's like no taste um, so I would really like to do that I tasted some um, up at a campground that somebody had made fresh like everything was fresh only problem was it wasn't fresh out of her garden it was fresh from the grocery store she says she was an older lady so but I mean hers was really really good compared to the stuff that I buy in the jars hers was good and then compared to mine that comes right out of my garden I think it will be a whole lot better so <clears throat> that's what I want to do so I need to shop for seeds now I need to pull out what I'm going to use because as everybody knows um, a lot of times you start seeds way before you're supposed to put them out so I'll probably start mine well I'm gonna do a lot of research now order the seed the two seeds that um, I want to grow try for the first time hey 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 don't eat my tree no eating baby trees Okay, no baby trees. Why do you guys keep going in there? You guys are dirt mongers. Come on, you guys. We still have so much work to do here. Sometimes I sit around and when I think about it, I get so overwhelmed. And then I tell myself, you're not in a hurry. What are you in a hurry for? 
you're here. Car part's done. Getting here. So, kind of calms me down a little bit and it doesn't bother me too much anymore.